Yesterday's closing price of 240 different stocks listed on a certain stock exchange were all different from today's closing prices. The number of stocks that closed at a higher price today than yesterday was 20% greater than the number that closed at a lower price. How many stocks closed at a higher price today than yesterday? So first of all, I'm going to say the number of stocks that closed lower is X. And the number of stocks closing higher is 20% higher than that. And so what we need to do is take 20%, change it into a decimal, 0.2, add 1, 1 1.2. That's our multiplier. So now if we multiply 1.2 times x, that is a 20% increase in x, or 20% higher. If all this stuff about percents and percentage increase is kind of fuzzy to you, I'd highly recommend check out Magoosh. Magoosh is an online test prep agency. We have over 200 lesson videos, which will help you sort out everything you need to know, math and verbal for the GMAT, including a whole series that talks about percent, which is one of the most heavily tested topics on the GMAT. So notice that all stocks changing price is 2420. So that includes both the stocks that went higher and the stocks that went lower. So X plus 1.2 X, stocks that went higher plus stocks that went lower is 2420. So 2.2 X equals 2420. X equals 2420 divided by 2.2. So the first thing I'm going to do is just divide the top and bottom by 2. So I get 1210 over 1.1. It helps to remember, incidentally, that 11 squared is 121. So this divides nicely to 1100. So x equals 1,100. Notice this is not our answer. You may be tempted to jump to the answer at this point. This is the number of stocks that closed lower. To get the number of stocks that closed higher, we need to take this number and increase it by 20%. That is to say, multiply by 1.2. And what we get when we multiply is 1,320. And this is answer choice D.